Cool. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, super excited to be taking this call with Chris. Chris, funny enough, this is your second appearance on this channel. I don't know if you remember <laughs> uh, yeah. when we first got you onboarded. Yeah, I remember that. Awesome. Yeah. Wasn't that wasn't very long ago. <laughs> it wasn't. And um yeah, I need to keep a, I need to do a better job of like keeping the timestamps as to how long ago that was, but um yeah, it, it was super quick. Everything happened super quick and um yeah, we'll go ahead and kind of dive into the nitty gritty details as to like why you're even on the channel. But just to kind of sum it up, uh you've been doing very well, right? You've managed to get into a really profitable role. You're making money, right? You're super remote and you can even balance it with the other things that you have going on in your life. So, um, yeah, man, excited to have you here and um, we can just kind of start from the beginning. So originally, um, I believe when we first had our first uh, like call together and this was to get you onboarded into the program, um, you were looking into a couple of other stuff, right? Tell me a little bit about yeah what you had going on at the time. Yeah, so I work in the film industry and just in the last year or so, there were a lot of um, strikes that kind of like put a slowdown on my my normal income streams. And so it seemed like a good time while I had, you know, extra free time uh, waiting for jobs to come around just to like look into other skills that I could be learning. And um, I think anyone who's looked into online business, like on YouTube, like has probably seen like, videos all about starting up your own marketing agency and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I've looked into stuff like that in the past and, um, it, it can just seem very overwhelming to do all of that all at once. <clears throat> so when I was looking through those videos, I think you had basically made a response to that type of content and told your story about um, how you can start to just develop like some very basic skills in that world that like anyone can learn and start putting them in action and, and learn the rest of the skills along the way and make connections with people who are doing, you know, bigger things, uh, maybe eventually that you want to be doing, but mm -hmm. it can kind of get you in the door and, um, be a way to learn while working. So all of that stuff kind of appealed to me and just seemed like like something i could definitely handle and you know and potentially like continue to work on uh smaller like editing projects that came my way so mm. so yeah that's kind of how i found you and and like what appealed to me about the program in the beginning yeah and uh anybody else like watching this particular video if they're wondering what that video that you were referring to it was the like IPGA video, right? And it's just this new, yeah. uh, like they just put a bow on it, but it's the same thing essentially that has been being pushed for the past like years, right? On end, it's the whole SMMA space. And um, yeah, I guess we just kind of, I, I, I can imagine why it kind of hit a nerve like within you because it is true, right? At the, at the very least, you need to have some skills to compile everything together so that we have an idea as to what you're doing. But unfortunately, 99% of the industry is uh kind of running around like a headless chicken, right? And uh, hopefully this video will kind of bring them to light. But yeah, man. Um, so we, we essentially onboarded you into the program, took you through some training. You mind giving me a little bit of like feedback and feel free to like rip me apart or anything like that. But in terms of the training, what did you think about uh, the simplicity, I guess? Because I really do my best to try and like really nail the basics. But tell me about like what your experience was like that going through the training. Yeah, so it what it is very simple like the breakdown of what you do um as an appointment setter um so you know don't you don't have to overcomplicate it um but at the same time there's just basics that you kind of need to know and it's good to have something to refer back to just to like um have some structure and uh it you know it's basic sales things and it's it's like higher level concepts that uh just help you when you get placed in a position like have you know a clear idea of what you're doing and and something to look back at if you're not having success right away mm. or if you're stumbling in certain areas so yeah the course is very manageable to go through uh i went through it in probably two days you know because we ha i had like an interview lined up pretty early on and yeah. so i wanted to make sure i knew what was going on but um but yeah i would say like 
there's nothing crazy complicated about it, but I think you laid it out in a very like understandable way, and it's just great to have as a reference. Yeah, I'm I'm glad you brought that up in the sense that there are some sort of concepts that can be a bit confusing to the normal person that doesn't really know too much about like online business, what it takes to bring somebody down a funnel, very uh, simple stuff like that. But, you know, there are things that have to be broken down a little bit more clear. So, yeah, I'm really glad you, you kind of pointed that out. And in terms of, uh, you know, once we got that offer lined up for you. So for those of you watching, we actually lined him up with um, an interview, somebody who already had an existing business and fairly was doing very, very well. Um, and really like that was a, a really good indicator for us to know that this person was ready for an appointment center, somebody who was going to go in there, perform, and essentially just amplify everything that they have going on. And that's, those are the people that we help, right? Um, so yeah, tell me about your experience in terms of being set up with that person, uh, having that interview, that intro call. Um, I, I think um, from when we first got you onboarded, you were actually paid for the training to go through all the course material, correct? Yeah, that's right. So yeah, it was um, probably one of the best things about my whole experience like with you was just the fact that you have a lot of connections to successful business owners who are looking for someone to appointment set for them. And, um, you know, we went through a couple of different people finding the right fit and it still didn't take very long, but you know, we, we went through a couple of people, found someone that like aligned with um, my prior like work experience in, in a way, even though what I'm, my position that I'm, you know, doing with him is, is very different. Mm -hmm. um, and, and yeah, he, um, he paid me to take his course so that I could, you know, learn the ins and outs of his offer, which was also great because it's, it's all information that is very valuable a lot of things about running ad campaigns and, and branding and marketing, which is all skills that I was interested in learning anyway. Um, so it was, it was awesome to just get, get set up with someone who's already um, operating at a pretty high level. And, um, and the process since then has been great, just communicating and, uh, you know, adjusting as we go, like we give each other feedback and, um, just stay, stay in touch every day and just like continue to refine our process. Yeah, that's awesome. And I think, um, this is probably in my opinion, one of the best parts about like why this is like a thousand times better than working a regular job because you don't necessarily, I mean, this, this is obviously like subject to change depending on your situation, but like more than likely these people who are, are in the online business space are successful like they're in the space for a reason. That's because they didn't want to kind of con confine to those type of environments and they want to work different. And that was my experience as well when I was a setter for about like a year and a half um, where the person like I, t I spoke with on a daily basis that essentially was responsible for my success uh, gave me a super good experience, right? It felt like I just genuinely had a team member. And um, I think from the sounds of it, like you're telling me, like you guys have a similar vibe or it doesn't feel like work. It just feels like, we're changing people's lives and we're getting paid for it. And you have a big portion of that because you're having conversations with these people, opening them up. And um, yeah, I guess on that note, um, like moving on to the skill set. So we went over the training. Uh, we went over what the actual process was like when you kind of got onboarded. Now let's talk about the work in terms of everything being kind of set out for you in terms of like the lead flow coming to you, uh, the, the, perfect avatars you can say um and what was your workflow like and what is it like right now like is it anything hard are these conversations difficult to navigate what do you think so when i first started um we were doing this giveaway and it uh it drove a ton of traffic like thousands of new followers to the account so mm -hmm. my first two weeks were like brutal <laughs> to be honest like yeah. i worked like 12 hour plus days um which was cool because i wanted to just kind of like hit the ground running and get a lot of experience and um you know just get as much feedback as i could also on what was working and what wasn't so um so at the beginning like it was all it was balls to the wall like crazy right um and uh 
since then, like I've kind of figured out like what makes sense to put the most effort into. And, um, and also we've like refined like where we're getting our leads from. Um, my offer like has been running ads that are doing really well and that's driving more traffic to us that converts, um, versus the giveaway followers that we were getting. Yeah. Right. You know, we got a lot of like good conversations going and people that probably will convert down the road, but, um, it's a high ticket offer. And so we found that just like, there isn't as much, uh, willingness for like a brand new follower to, to be like super interested in closing right away. Like it's just, it's a longer term process. So we started that process with a lot of people during the giveaway and we've seen like over time, like more and more people expressing more interest in the offer and less you know because there's a lot of free training and and stuff like that to warm them up and so basically that whole beginning uh where we were working super hard like it didn't convert that well at the time right and so now as we're running more ads and and getting people that are specifically looking for help immediately and looking for coaching um it's it's been converting a lot higher so we've sort of yeah, just kept track of that kind of thing and, and made adjustments as we go. Got it. Yeah. No, good to know. And, and really for, you know, anybody wondering why like that's the case, why that might've happened. I mean, it could have been for a number of reasons, but for one of them that you touched on them being that it was just straight cold traffic, the middle of the funnel could have not been doing its job at least right off the bat. And then it just necessarily needed time to compound and you can potentially have a big impact on that because it's really about starting these conversations. It's very clear. Cool. They don't know us. They don't trust us. Let's send them a video. Let's send them a sales asset here and there that you can essentially be responsible for booking them later on and, and converting them into a client. So yeah, it's really good to know. And, and I'm glad like, yeah, you see the full picture. It's just so awesome to hear when somebody goes from not really just having a, the full idea as to what it looks like to run a successful business like this. And then just kind of getting the inside scoop, it's like, it, it's night and day, right? Knowing the, the behind the scenes and what that looks like. Um, in terms of what March looked like, I'm not sure if you, because we did discuss it on on uh, on school a little bit, but do you know, have you added up the correct amount of number as to what you brought home? Yeah, so if we count, um, let's see. I calculated it. Okay, so um I did get a small bonus for the month, uh, which was very nice to, yeah, we got, to we receive. Count that bonus. Um so we're gonna count that. Then I I ended with uh four thousand three hundred and sixty one. God, and this is technically would this officially be your first full month? Yeah, yeah, because we okay. started at the at the end towards the end of February. Um but yeah, this is the first full month. And and like that's awesome. The money is cool, right? I think it's it's pretty awesome to say like we can bring home that amount of money through just an iPhone. Like I have this right here. If people aren't actually believing this, like, yeah, you can actually do it. But I think the cooler part, and you might be able to correct me if I'm wrong. One is the experience that you're bringing home. And two, this is technically like your personal case study that you can also leverage later on. Because correct me if I'm wrong, I, I'm, I'm not sure about the exact numbers, but I believe like you were a huge asset of taking that business from doing 50K like consistently every month to just wrapping up 73,000 for March, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely, it's, it's definitely a valuable experience on both ends because yeah, obviously it's great to get paid, <laughs> um, but it's it's great to learn a new skill it's great to have like some statistics basically to put up for other people to see you know the value that i can offer mm -hmm. um so yeah i think i think there's a lot of a lot of value to take from different angles right yeah and and i'm glad you put it that way because it is this skill set as well that you're developing the appointment setting but 
you're not only developing this skill set, you're developing like what it looks like to run somebody from just a full funnel, right? The top of funnel, middle, bottom, what a sales call looks like. I'm sure if you asked like the person you're working with, like, hey, do you mind if I get a sales call just to kind of review for my own? I already life? have. There you We've, go. I've watched <laughs> them already. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And, and so, that, yeah. that is my main point when, um, you know, I don't know, I guess, I guess because it's not so tangible, right? It's not like 10K a month. People don't necessarily get blown away from it right off the bat. But if you truly take a step back and you understand the value that like information like this brings that people are not sharing, right? That it, it just makes all the difference. And I think, you know, that's why I credit the way I've been able to pick up things as fast as I have with the current offer that I have going right now because of the work we've done, the insights that I've seen, the sales calls. So yeah, I'm really glad uh, you put it that way. And let me ask you this, man, like what would you say are your next steps, right? And I, I'm not necessarily looking for like a direct answer. It can be anything, but where do you think you go from here on out? What, what does that look like for you? Uh, yeah, well, I just wanted to add one more thing to the last point. Go for it. Um, the way I, I'm looking at this is like, I'm getting paid to go to like business school right now. I'm getting paid to go learn from someone who's already crushing it. And like, what's better than that? Like, <laughs> and you're getting paid really well. I, let me add that to that. Right. Cause, cause yeah, this I'm, is like, just the, you're scratching the surface. We can take things another level there. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is just the beginning. This is the first month. So like I'm, yeah, I'm very grateful to, to you, the program, grateful to the business owner that I'm working with. Like, um, when you think about it like that, it's, you know, the value is just, you can't really calculate it even, Yeah. but it's so much more than what you're getting paid, you know, and that's, but you're also getting paid. <laughs> so. that's the best part right? you're not just like yeah just wasting your time or anything like that like because because every single second that you're in that position it's just uh yeah it's ridiculous with what you can do with it eventually does that make sense yeah yeah so to continue on then uh uh so next steps um i know we're going to continue to try to scale and and refine like the the systems basically that we have in place for right. my current offer and um so yeah i definitely feel like there's more to do there and um i'm also kind of going back through the course material um of the offer itself because there's just a lot to learn and absorb even though i already went through it once fully um enough to like talk to someone about it i think to really start to get it into my own head um, I'm watching it again and I actually have like a friend who he's in an adjacent industry, but I think that a lot of the concepts are very applicable. So mm -hmm. I actually started talking to him about, um, uh, putting some of that stuff into action in his business and just see what we can do with it. And, um, just as a way to kind of like make it more concrete in my own practice. Right. Um, so I'm excited to do that like sometime this month just kind of start meeting with him and just uh yeah put put some of the the course into action and and put the learning into into application yeah man. really when i say like and i think you know this as well i mean you said it yourself a little bit earlier like when when we say this is just the beginning like it actually is um because there's just so much so many different directions that you can take this uh, I'd imagine, yeah, you're going to stick it out for quite some time. Make sure like you just fully indulge everything here. Possibly, you know, pivot, maybe a little bit of a different role that you can do. But now you have the opportunity to do that, right? Um, you have the opportunity to do whatever you want at this point. And I think this is uh, one of the main points. One of the main points that I genuinely try to drive inside of like my marketing, all the videos that I talk about where, um, you know, if, if you're somebody who was similar to Chris, where you were kind of barely looking into different avenues. Um, you were, you felt like you were being sold this dream, but deep down, you know, there's a lot of moving parts. It's a lot of things that you have to know how to do to successfully run an entire business. Then, you know, I'd highly advise you guys take a similar route that crowd that Chris did. Um, because it's gonna it's just gonna pay you in the future. You guys, I I really wish you guys can see, and I'd probably insert a, a clip here, Chris, from uh, when I first <laughs> did that video when we onboarded you. Um, but that person, 
is very, very different in terms of the information and the just just everything, the opportunities, the network, everything versus the person that like I'm speaking to here today to today. So, um, yeah, I, I'm really glad you went through what, what you went through and we were able to kind of set up everything we did with you. Um, any last thoughts, anything you want to kind of throw out there? Um, I don't know. I think we covered a lot, but just, um, if, yeah, if, if you're thinking about, if you're really interested in getting into the, the online business space, I think this is a valuable route to go. Um, and if you've had, if you've tried other, you know, bigger processes in the past and been overwhelmed or something, um, this is, in my opinion, just like a very straightforward, very like immediately applicable skill that can get you in the door. And yeah, I'm already just through my interactions with the business that I'm working with, I'm already learning so much, just seeing different systems in play. And as much as I want to learn or get feedback, like I have access to this business owner. And I'm also building goodwill, you know, serving his business. So I think like it's, it's a win-win for everybody and it can only pay off if you put the work in, you know, so I'm not going to tell you that it's like so easy, like, and you can just be on vacation and, and like be making money. Like, no, you got to put in effort still and and obviously like every job has its like positives and negatives but the positives on this are are so much if you're if you're really interested in learning business and online business so um yeah that's all i gotta say i guess yeah i love that chris well yeah man i appreciate you hopping on here uh nonetheless like i, I am super proud of, of how much of an impact that we've been able to have like into like your life, your, your learning experiences, everything around that, man. So, uh, that this is literally like the reason why I kind of started this. Cause I know what it did for me and I'm really glad that it's doing what it did for me to you and then to some of the other students as well that are in the program. So, um, yeah, with that being said, if you know, you're on the fence, you're, you're, you don't want to work that traditional nine to five, you'd rather be making money, you know, learning a real skill to be able to set yourself up for online business success. And yeah, you guys know where to book in a call chat with me and, uh, or you can message me over on Instagram uh, and we can chat about what that would look like for you. But Chris, nonetheless, man, I, like I mentioned, appreciate you hopping on here and uh, this is just the beginning, man. Cool. Absolutely. Thanks, right. Sergio. Yeah.